to get started, up at the top we have what's called the title bar. It's the title of, in this case, the program. It's Microsoft Outlook, and we're in the inbox view. You have a bunch of other views down below, and we'll cover that in just a minute. Below the title bar, you have what's called a menu. Then when you click on it, it lists a bunch of items within that menu, okay? Now when you click on it, if the menu doesn't open up all the way so you can see everything, you may want to change it. In other words, come over here and right-click anywhere up at the top, and you get this shortcut list. Come down here and left-click on Customize, and on the Options tab it says, well, by default, I have it to always show full menus. If I uncheck that, what it's going to do is when I click on a menu here, First it's going to have a delay, and then after a couple of seconds it's going to pop open and show me everything. And the reasoning behind this is, is that Microsoft thinks that, hey, you know, when I click off and I click on it first, these are the most commonly used actions within this menu, and then it pops open and reveals all the rest. Well, if you're like me, let me go ahead and right-click again, go down to Customize, you always want to see everything within the menu. And the menus aren't that big in the first place, so why not show everything, okay? So I got that checked, then I'll go ahead and close out. And then below that, what's interesting is that this is the only main office program that still has a toolbar and a menu. All the others have what are called ribbons. If you watch my Excel or Word or PowerPoint training videos, they have what are called ribbons. Well, they actually have the ribbon within Outlook, but just not in the main view here. Like, for example, anytime I create a new email, create a new appointment or a new contact or view one of my emails by double-clicking on it, it doesn't have a toolbar or a menu, it actually has the ribbon. The purpose of it is to show or display more features that you can use because Microsoft felt that in previous versions of Outlook or any other Office program for that matter, that not all the features were being used or utilized because they were hidden, let me close out of here, behind menus or the icons were so small that people really couldn't tell what they were used for. So what they did is they made it bigger here so it's more visual so you can create a rule move to a folder delete I mean it's right there in front of you right okay so this is the only view you're gonna have as the menu and then have a toolbar standard toolbar all the others will have the ribbon and of course we'll go over that in later training videos and then over to the right you have where you can type a question if you need some help like well how do I create an email go ahead and click in here type it in there and then it'll bring up a window that'll give you a bunch of topics to choose from and then just click on it, read about it, and you're done. It's like just a mini help, or you can click on the question mark to get some more detailed help or read all the manuals electronically about Outlook, which we won't do. And then, of course, you have your minimize, your close here. All right, down below, you have three views. Let me put it this way. Right now, I'm currently in the mail view right here. Down below, I have these different bars. I can go to the calendar view, shows the calendar. Go to the contacts view, it shows the contacts that I have. Mr. Humphreys, his email address, then the task view, any tasks that I want to create that I have actions to perform that has to be done by a certain day. Then I have my sticky notes, in other words, little notepads here, things that you want to keep track of, and we'll cover all this. In any case, I'm going to go back to my default view, my mailing view. Now, anytime you skip around to one of these views, your folders here are going to change. These folders here are for emails. In other words, I have my inbox where I get emails coming into a folder here. Then I have my drafts, where I'm in the middle of creating an email, but I don't have time to finish it, so I save it as a rough draft, then later I can open it up and finish it, and then send it on. In any case, all these folders are relating to the current view I'm in, which is my mail view. My calendar view has my folder, just one folder for my calendar. I can create additional calendars. My contacts has just one contact folder. It may not look like a folder, but it is. This folder contains all these contacts. I can create additional contact folders like one for business, one for personal. So again, many folders in this one view. So back to my mail view, I have all these different folders that contain two email messages. Now pertaining to email messages, all these folders here for junk email, if an email comes in and Microsoft thinks it's junk, it'll put it here for me to view. And of course, we'll cover that later on. Now over to the right, let me go back to and click on my inbox. In my inbox, I have my main view for my inbox. When I click on another folder for my draft, it's the main view for the drafts folder. Makes sense? Okay, back to the inbox. And then over to the right of the main view of the folder I have selected over here is what's called a reading pane. In other words, you can select whatever's in the folder here, in this folder, which is a bunch of email messages. And then over to the right, it allows me to read what's inside the message without having to double click and open up the message, okay? Which I can do as well. Close out of that. And then over to the right of the reading pane, we have what's called the to-do bar that you can open up one of two ways. You can expand the toolbar, 
Once you expand it, it's always expanded until you go ahead and click on the double arrow again to minimize it. Or you can temporarily expand it by clicking on the to-do bar here. It doesn't pin it down, so if I click off in a blank area, it collapses. Now let me expand it here and go over this real quick. The to-do bar is going to show the calendar and upcoming appointments and follow-up messages that are flagged. So here's today's date. It's in orange. That's nice. So I don't have to go to my calendar to find out today's date. If I don't want to, I can just have my to-do bar open. And then down below, any upcoming appointments that I have, like, I don't know, with the dentist or the doctors or other meetings with other people across the country. And then follow-up or tasks down below. So if I go ahead and I minimize the to-do bar, again, if I don't want it pinned open permanently, but I just want to quickly view what upcoming appointments I have, then come down here on the to-do bar and click on upcoming appointments. It'll temporarily pop it open so I can view it. Once I'm done, click off and it collapses. Now if I open it up, and I click on the X and it's totally gone. Well, keep this in mind. If you ever close out of something and you want to view it again, the operative word being view, come up here and click on the view menu down to the to-do bar and say I want to see it back in the normal view or minimized. And then it brings it back up. And then down below you have the status bar. It'll give you stats on, well, depending on what folder you've selected. In this case, when I'm in the inbox, how many items do I have? Well, it doesn't call them messages, it calls them items. One, two, three, four. And there's four items down below. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're new to Outlook, this probably won't make a difference. But for me, it's important because I was used to previous versions of Outlook, Outlook XP, where I didn't have the reading pane, and I didn't like it when it was grouping my messages by today and then the others saying it was older or last month. So I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, um, some cleanup work here. First thing I want to do that I don't like is I want to get rid of the reading pane over to the right. So I'm going to come up here, click on view, go down to reading pane, and say I want to turn it off. I could have it at the bottom down below and then have my messages up at the top and then just select a message and read down below, which I guess is okay. But for me, view to reading pane to turn it off. That way my messages go all the way across. It's a little bit cleaner, looks a little bit nicer. And then like I said, I don't like them grouped. like. All the todays will show up in this little grouping here where I can collapse it or maximize it or anything older than that or other groups it could do by like last week it'll have a group for that or last month. I want to turn them off. So I can just have a bunch of messages here that I can sort through without having them grouped. Again, it's going to be under the view menu down to arrange by and go over and down and say don't show in groups because by default you can see it's checked. If I go ahead and click on it, it unchecks it and it doesn't group them. So now what I'm looking at is I have to look in my receive column here. So this was received on April 27th and then it gets older as I go down the line here. So again, it just looks a little bit cleaner to me without having them all these different groups here. And then finally, you have what are your favorites and then down below your actual mail items. In other words, these are just shortcuts to your actual folders down below. So I have my inbox here. Well, there's my favorite inbox up above. In other words, without having to go, let's see, let me get to my inbox. I have such a tiny mouse. Oops, I missed it. Oops. You know, you can just come up here and if it's by itself or if it's one of your go-to folders, then click on it and you don't have to go through and try to click on one of the folders down below. Now, unread messages. I don't care for this shortcut folder, at least not here in my favorites. So I can right click and delete it and say yes, get rid of it. Now I can turn this back on if I want to display that and I'll show you in a training video later on. But right now, there's my sent folders right here. All the uh, emails that I sent off to everybody, it keeps track of them, but it's also displayed down below here. Again, up here is just a shortcut. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and say remove from my favorites. And if you notice, one I had to delete and the other one I had to remove. Again, if I delete the folder, it's not gone permanently. I mean, there is another option to bring it back that I'll show you in a later training video. If I want to have that option to view unread messages, I mean, if it's unread, I just look in my inbox and it's right there. It's got a little envelope that hasn't been opened yet. In fact, if I double click open it up and then I close it, you know, it opens it up. But I can also right click on it and say mark is unread because I want to be able to come back to it and read it later and show that I still have some unfinished business or unfinished reading to do in this email. Again, I'll show you all these fancy things in the training videos a little bit later on, but for right now, my go-to folder is the inbox versus coming in here and trying to click on the inbox. It's just right there. I don't make the mistake. It's click on it and I go right to it. That's how I like mine set up. You can customize your own, okay? By the way, you can collapse your navigation pane click it on down below to temporarily pop it open if you want more room here and then click off in a blank area to collapse it just like the toolbar 
if I want it to be permanently open or pinned open, just come up here and click on the expand and it pins it open. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.